Good morning, traders. It is Monday, November 25th. We are 40 minutes into trading. Let's see what the market's doing. Currently, we've got the market starting to rally through this all-time high right here. It is trying to poke through and trying to poke through. The volume has been pretty decent so far today. So let's go into the five-minute chart and see what's going on. As I mentioned to traders in the chat room, I said this is very, very powerful price action here. We have closes near the high on every one of these five-minute bars. And this is when we were testing the all-time high. I said, you cannot short this market. Do not fade this. This is a strong move. You can see decent volume relative to what we saw in the open last Friday. So what we need to do is we need to see a series of long tails above the body. That would be a sign that resistance is forming. We'd like to see a pullback and a rally that makes a lower high. Until we get all of those variables, you cannot short this market today. We're floating higher on very light volume. Over the weekend, I was expecting Trump to sign the bill put to him by Republicans and Democrats to support pro-democracy protests in Hong Kong. He did not. I think that the longer he waits to do that, the more he risks being labeled as a supporter of communist China. This also indicates that perhaps he wants the deal done. Otherwise, he would have readily signed that bill over the weekend. I think that was the probably the most obvious thing for him to do from a political standpoint, from an optics standpoint. But this tells me that they might be pretty close to at least a trade truce, or at least he's willing to give it a chance. That's certainly how the market is interpreting the news. We're seeing cyclical stocks rally in the absence of him signing that bill. China has already stated that there will be backlash if he signs that bill. So that's the only real news that's pending this week. I still believe that if he signs the bill, which I believe that he will do, the market will pull back and it'll give us an opportunity to enter at much better levels. So I did buy puts over the weekend. I bought a very small position. I outlined that on Friday. I said that I may be buying puts close to the close. I did that. It was a losing trade. So call a spade a spade, losing trade. I expected him to sign the bill over the weekend. I expected to see selling this morning as a result of it. Didn't work out. Small position, limited risk, huge upside. I'm okay with the loss. I'm okay with the trade. Again, very, very speculative position, not a large position. VXX, I'm still long that, and I plan to hold that because even though the bill was not signed this weekend, I expect it to get signed. You can see how VXX and option implied volatilities dropped with this market rally. There's the VXX right here. We're long at the 1750 level. When he signs that bill, bullish speculators are going to get flushed out, and we will see a spike through this downtrend. Now, the risk that I run is that a China trade truce is signed. I still believe both sides are toying with each other. I still don't believe that uh, the intentions are there. We'll see. We'll see how things play out. So for right now, I looked through all my bullish and bearish scans this morning. Didn't see a whole lot that I liked on the bearish side, but I did see some things that I liked on the bullish side. So we're going to highlight that. Perhaps we'll find a couple of bearish trades while I'm doing the video this morning. But I want to remind you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post these videos an hour after the open each day. I use option stalker searches to find these stocks. It takes me minutes, minutes after the open. I already know what I'm going to be buying and what I'm going to be selling. I post those trades in the chat room. The chat rooms included in option stalker. Go to www.oneoption.com. Option stalker is how we find these stocks. So again, please subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you're notified when these videos are posted, obviously turn your YouTube notifications on. That way you'll get the information right away. Plan on posting these videos every morning. Also, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content, please post some comments. I will reply. So when I went through the searches this morning, heavy buying, we must have heavy volume today. That is an absolute must. It's part of every search criteria. So I've got heavy buying as one of the searches that we run. I like Tesla in here. You can see how it gapped down. It was a sell the news event. 
on a new truck that was going to be launched. They had a lot of orders for it, and you can see how the stock tried to run higher here, and now it's hitting a little bit of resistance. So we need to see it take out this high and start to fill in this gap. I'm not getting that sense right now because the market has been up, 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 but the stock is not getting any lift. So Tesla's on my radar. The one stock that I really like this morning, it was pointed out by Dave, is Amazon. I feel that Amazon's got a really good chance to rally. We're only a week away from Cyber Monday. So we should see nice follow through here. I am long Amazon from the open about 10, 15 minutes after the open. There's my stop. I'm going to start raising that stop. In fact, I'll do it right now. I'm going to right click, delete object. I could draw a trend line, but this is too steep. I'll get stopped out right away. So I'm going to click alert and I'm just going to double click on the bottom of this candle. There's my new horizontal alert line. So I do like Amazon today. Quickly going through this list, I would avoid FDX, MMM, any cyclical stock that is currently bouncing on this notion that there's going to be a U.S.-China trade deal, I would avoid those stocks. I would focus on other stocks because if Trump signs that bill, those are going to be the first stocks to get really hammered. And you see CLF is another one, VALE. Avoid these stocks. So you'll see me cruising right through them. I don't want to have anything to do with them. Pfizer looks really good. Let's take a look at that D1 chart. You can see how it's getting through this horizontal resistance level, but it does have to get through. If it continues to grind higher, I think it's a good uh, prospect. We're going to go into relative strength 30. This would be another great source for stocks to buy this morning. And I'm going to cut right to the quick and pop bull also. Really, really good search to use. I'm going to go into this pop bull here, which is current. If you look through this list right here, this is what I do. I just click through these stocks. I look for the D1 chart, see what I like, and then I'm able to zoom in right away. So here's what I like today. I'm going to stay in D1 because on a very, very quiet day like we're bound to have today, trading this week is going to be very subdued. There's not a lot of news to drive the market. Thanksgiving is going to suck all the volume out of the market this week. We'll see something on Monday and Tuesday. So today and tomorrow, we might see a little bit of action, but not a whole lot. So here's what I like. I like SQ, if it can get through a horizontal resistance level. And it is currently testing that 200-day moving average, but it needs to get above that 200-day moving average. If it can, it's broken through this horizontal resistance. I like that. It's trying to fill in this gap here, and it will be filling in that gap right here at the 70 40 level if it can get through the 200 day moving average then it fills that in so i do like sq more on a swing basis but it's got a little bit of work to do srpt i noticed this morning i like it through this 100 day i like this strong uptrend got a little bit of a breakout right here this looks like a good stock it's starting to fill in this gap right here certainly a candidate for a bullish put spread nvidia is one of the stronger stocks today I love this breakout. Here's a compression right here. You can sell a bullish put spread right here. You can use that $210 level. Really like this breakout in here. Very, very nice. We're going to go into a, uh, excuse me, adjust that. I'm going to go and take a look at APWR. Actually, that may be, I don't know if that is a uh, earnings announcement today. Take a quick look. I may have written the, ah, uh, here it is actually. Breakout earnings after the close, so I would avoid that one, but I do like the price action. DOCU, that's nice. Got this breakout here, nice uptrend, decent volume in the last two days. So I do like this stock. Earnings on the 5th of December, so we got plenty of time there. You can see it rallied up and now it's compressing. It would need to break out to a new high of the day. Well, how do we know if that happens? Click on alert, drop the alert line. Now we will know. If it continues to pull back, it's on my radar. I'll keep watching it. Then I'll start drawing a downtrend line. And I want that stock to keep moving, moving, moving lower. And when that downtrend line is eventually breached to the upside, then I'll know there's a trade opportunity for me. But in the meantime, I can keep looking for new trades. 
DLTR, I noticed that one this morning. I think that sets up really well for a bullish put spread. I like it. It comes back to this 100-day moving average, and it bounces off of it. It's through this little horizontal resistance level. So I like selling a bu bullish put spread on this stock. It's not a big mover. I would try and key off the $108 level, but you may not get a lot of premium for it. You might have to go up to this 109 level, which was resistance before. Now it's support. So a little bit aggressive. Need to take a break here. In general, all of your trading activity should be minimal. This is not a high probability environment right now. So please trim your size, trim your activity. You should not be doing a whole lot right now. The market's been trapped in a range. We've got pending news coming out. I believe the market's a little bit overextended. At best, it should be treading water, trying to catch up to these valuations, which are at the high, forward PE of 17.5. Asset managers are not worried that they're going to miss a monster year-end rally here. So they're buying dips, but they're not aggressively buying and fueling this rally. So those are the bullish picks that I have for today. Keep it very light. On the bearish side, I'm going to try and find something that looks decent. I only have one decent play that I was able to find. And typically, when you don't get a lot coming up on these bearish searches, that's a sign. By nature, it tells you that you should probably be focusing on the bullish side for the day. Because everything is weighted that way. And we also know that from the market. So PXD is the only stock that I saw that I like on a bearish call spread basis right now. You can see how it's in a steady downtrend here. It's just poked below the 100-day moving average. I think you can key off of that 100-day moving average. It might be a decent short, but let's take another snapshot of the market, see what it's doing. Trying to get through that high. So there we've got a long green bar. We're starting to pull back. Still a bullish hammer right here. So you see the bid is still pretty strong, long tails under body. So what we want to do is we want to see a pullback here in the market. Then we want to see it rally up and hit resistance and not be able to get through that high. In fact, establish a lower high. Once we do that and we start breaking some support levels like the bottom of this candle right here, then we've got a chance for it to roll over, pull back, probably close near the opening today. That would be a doji. Go back to the daily chart, take a look at the recent price action. You'll see very tiny bodies, and that indicates that the market's had a tendency to close near its open. And I think that we can expect the same today. I'm not seeing a lot of big news to fuel a breakout here. Volume is going to be light this week. My best guess is that this rally will start to fizzle near the high here, and that we probably will gradually in the afternoon start to float back close to the opening price today. In the early going, focus on your bullish stocks. I'm going to leave you with two picks that I like. AMZN, I think Amazon does really well into Cyber Monday. It's off of this major support level. Right in here, you can see this downtrend has been broken. I like that. Opens on the low, it's on the high. I think it's got some decent upside to those major moving averages. You've got an upward sloping trend line right here. Could you use this one for a bullish put spread below this level right here? Yes, you could. That would probably be a decent play as well. I just like being long Amazon today for a day trade because it's got really nice strength. NVDA is my other really, really strong pick for today. Love this breakout through horizontal resistance after a compression. Really good volume in here. Good relative strength today. I think this is one that you'd want to buy on pullbacks as well. So wait for that pullback to come in. You can draw your alert lines. You can draw one like this. There's not much of a trend here. I would start it there. I would drop it there. Stock pulls back. Line comes down. Eventually broken to the upside. That's your entry point. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. You get these videos every morning with lots of trade ideas. Today is a little bit slow. This week is going to be a little bit slow. Trim your size. Trim your trade activity. I'll look for you tomorrow. Thank you.